from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Tuesday, September the 11th, 2018. The U.S. State Department said yesterday that it was ordering the closure of the Washington mission of the PLO, the Palestinian Liberation Organization, something it was considering earlier this year. State Department spokeswoman Heather Nauert said operations in support of achieving peace between Israelis and the Palestinians were allowed to continue after a waiver expired last November. However, she said the PLO has not taken steps to advance the start of direct and meaningful negotiations with Israel. To the contrary, she said, PLO leadership has condemned a U.S. peace plan they have not yet seen and refused to engage with the U.S. government with respect to peace efforts and otherwise. Now it also noted Palestinian threats to file complaints against Israel at the International Criminal Court in The Hague. Now it stressed, though, that the closure did not indicate any retreat of U.S. peace efforts. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office welcomed the U.S. decision, saying the Palestinians' appeal to the ICC and their rejection of negotiations with Israel and the U.S. are not the way to achieve peace, and it is good that the U.S. is taking a clear stance in the matter. Palestinian chief negotiator Saeb Erekat accused the U.S. of trying to, quote, cover Israeli crimes by closing the mission. And today, Erekat said that he had filed a claim with the ICC over Israel's plans to demolish a Bedouin village in the West Bank. Israel's High Court of Justice ruled last week that the demolition of Khan al-Amar could proceed as it was built illegally without permits and poses a threat to the residents of the village because it is situated so close to a highway. Khan al-Amar is set for demolition tomorrow. Some 2,000 Palestinians took part in violent riots at a beach in Gaza yesterday, burning tires and throwing rocks at Israeli soldiers, as well as a makeshift bomb. And also yesterday, dozens of Palestinian rioters on boats tried to breach the blockade on Gaza and enter Israeli waters. The Israeli Navy fired warning shots towards the boats who retreated. And the IDF is also investigating the deaths of two Palestinians at the Gaza border fence during riots on Friday. Israel's ambassador to the United Nations, Dani Danon, led the traditional ceremony of Tashlich this weekend in New York City, just a few blocks from UN headquarters. Danon, accompanied by UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, led 50 other diplomats to the East River Saturday evening for the ceremony meant to signify the casting away of sins just ahead of the Jewish New Year Rosh Hashanah. Danon said it was a chance for the UN to look inwards and soul search to cast off the sins of the old year and start the year with a blank page. Guterres wished the state of Israel and the Jewish people a year of peace and prosperity and said he hoped the UN will be able to increase the trust it enjoys in the upcoming year. An ancient synagogue was rededicated in Budapest last week, just ahead of Rosh Hashanah. Hungarian President Janos Adar led a ceremony Thursday evening to mark the revival of the medieval Jewish prayer house, which was built in 1364, a small Sephardic synagogue located in the Buda Castle, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The synagogue was taken from the Jewish community after a pogrom in 1686. Well, Israel's President Reuven Rivlin posted a message for the Jewish New Year calling for Jewish unity and the hopes that Jews in Israel and around the world will celebrate what we have in common, not what divides us. As we approach the Rosh Hashanah, let us reflect on what we share, on the links that bind us together. We are one people with a shared history and a shared future. We share a commitment to the future of the Jewish people despite our differences. So let us hope, let us hope that this year we will feel closer, closer one to each other. And that's the JBS News update for Tuesday, September the 11th, 2018. I'm Tisha Bader.